Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, welcome back to Atlas, where today I'm going to show you the five things you need to know to get started in survival in the first day you are on the Atlas, whether it be on PvP or PvE. Okay guys, well right off the bat, if you spawn into a free port right off the bat, they have everything turned up as far as the gather goes. You can actually just stand right here and just hit, hold down the E button and you can just gather, you can just gather. Just and I'm just just do this for the first ten minutes in a free port. Literally, just do this for the first ten minutes. You're going to need a lot of fibers to begin with, and fibers and vegetables are and, and fruit are going to be super super important. You, you're going to be able to find fruits and vegetables everywhere. We'll get into that in a minute. You can literally just stand here and hold down the E button, and it will continuously respawn the items that you're standing in. And you can just continuously, continuously gather all this, all this stuff. And you don't even have to go, have to go anywhere. That, that's in the free ports. Out in the wild, it's different. The spawn rate is lower. See how that just popped back, back up? It's so easy just to stand here and just gather vegetables or fruit and fiber and just, just sit right here and just gather it up. Whatever, whatever wherever you, you might find it. So long as it's in a free port, it's going to respawn super, super quick. Conversely, if you're on the move out in the wild, you can just hold down the E button and you can go ahead and just and just run and gather as you go. So if you're if you need to keep moving, you can go ahead, don't sprint, just go ahead and just just keep on moving and just keep gathering and gathering as you go. Just hold down the E button and, and the forward button and just keep gathering as you move and you're gonna be able to cover a lot of ground, you'll be able to get your surroundings. You're gonna get yourself coordinated with the surroundings. You're going to be able to figure out where you are, where everybody else is. You're the moving target, and you're going to be able to just gather whatever you need out in the wild if you need to. So I would suggest just keep on moving right off the bat until you get enough fiber to make your, your weapons and your tools that you're going to need down the road. Okay, guys, when it comes to water, this is the most important thing. In the free ports, there's always fresh water somewhere. It has, they have signs saying, water, this way. So if you want to get water, just follow the signs until you get, find the fresh water. It's just like Ark. You go ahead and you just, well, you can't drink when you're when you're swimming, but I get filled up. Looks like I'm. Oh yeah, I was in the water, so I'm already full of water. But if you're out in the wild and you want to learn how to get water, let me show you how you do that. Okay, guys. Well, if you need water out in the wild, let's go ahead and you hit X. Once you find a green spot that has some foliage and what whatnot, hit X. Go prone. I like to go into first person and left click. There's going to be a mini game that pops up with a small white bar that when the black bar goes back and forth, you have to hit that white bar and you got to hit it as many times as possible. It'll come up three times if you're successful each time. And then if you're successful, you'll get a water spout. Let me show you. Left click. See, I, was, I, didn't, I didn't click it. It only goes by once. So we're going to try again. Boom. And again, boom. One more time, boom. Oh, I missed the third time. But the water spout should still come up. It gave me 40 water. So I can go ahead and hit, hold down E and drink the water. And I only needed five water at that, at that time. So now this water spout will slowly uh, deplete. But anybody else can come up and drink it if, you, if you've already filled your water. So you cannot fill any jugs or any water skins from this. You can only drink from it. But it is handy in the wild because you can do this at any time, almost in any place. Unless somebody else has already done it in the spot that you've done it within a certain amount of time, it'll say, there is no water in this area. You have to find some other spot. It's depleted is what it'll say. All right, guys. Now, with your gathering, like I'm level three right now, you can respec once per level. Remember that, that button right there. Okay, so you go ahead and click on that button. That you saw me just click on. And it'll take all your points out of your stats and all of your points out of your out of your skills. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go with health right now. I'm going to jack my health up. Um, I have 10 points available because I am level 4 now because I had a level. And I'm going to take basics. I'm going to take tools of the trade because that will give me a spear. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unlock hand-to-hand -hand combat. Then I'm going to drop down here and I'm going to get higher hand harvesting. I'm going to get higher improved hand harvesting. 
and I'm going to get advanced higher hand harvesting. Right off the bat, that's going to give me 60% higher harvest yields. And since you can respect every level, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that right off the bat. I can change that later on when I need to. But for right now, in the very, very beginning, you want to be able to gather as much as possible. And also, once you've taken hand-to-hand -hand combat, you can go ahead and open up the hand-to-hand -hand combat tab. And I like to take Shrug it off if I'm in a PvP situation. If you're in a PvP situation, it will allow you to get take negative 20% torpor when somebody punches you. So right off the bat, early game, people, they like to be trolly and they like to try to, try to hit you with their fists. You're going to be able to be, take less torpor than they will, so unless they've taken this as well. And if they're brand new to the game too, chances are they don't know this. So it took, us, it took me a while to figure this one out. But you, can, you, you might have an advantage over your enemy if you take Shrug it off. This is just very, very beginning, beginning stuff, guys. This won't be the same once you level up, once you get to a higher level. This will all change. But for right now, while you're trying to survive, this is, this is what I do. Okay, guys, now I'm starving to death. Talking about food, you're going to have four different types of food. You have fruits, you have vegetables, which also cover, like, spices and whatnot that you might be used to seeing. You have fish and you have meat. Now, fish is meat, but it's not the same. It's in a different category. So you have four different types of nutrients in your body. You have the green, you have pink, you have orange, and you have blue. So green is going to be your vegetables. Orange is going to be your fruits. Which I'm going to move this over. And I like to have it in 7, 8, 9, and 10 slot. Okay? So I like to put the... I like to put the vegetables in the, or I like to put these in order so I can at a glance tell what nutrients I have or I need. Now I'm starving to death right now, so we're going to go ahead, before I take any more damage, and I'm going to eat some of these, my vegetables and my fruits, because I don't have any meats right now. But be careful when you're spamming this, because if you eat too much, oh my god, those pigs just appeared right in front of my face. If you eat too much, what's going to happen is you're going to get an excess of nutrients and you're going to have nutrient poisoning. But you don't want to have excessive uh, nutrients. So watch how much you're doing. Don't go over the top because if you do, it'll hurt you. So what I like to do is I like to have nutrients lined up as they are in the bar on the right-hand side. If you notice right here on the right-hand side of the screen, you have, there's your nutrient bars right there. Now, you're going to have a little bit of time when you first spawn in after you die, or when you first spawn in, before you're going to have to worry about nutrients. But I'd like to have everything ready to go. And one of the most important things to remember about your meats is that if you kill a large animal, you can eat prime meat without getting poisoned if it's raw. So if you're trying to save materials and you don't want to cook a whole bunch... You can actually, you can kill a larger animal like a, like a, like a cow or a bear or some other large animal. And you're going to be able to, if you, once you harvest the meat, you're going to be able to harvest some prime meat, eat that prime meat. You won't have to cook it. You're not going to get as much nutrients from it, but you will be able to eat it when it's raw. Remember prime meat is king. That way you can focus on fishing and because vegetables and fruits are easy to get. Meat is less easy to get, and fish is the most difficult to get, especially in a high-populated area where everybody's trying to get fish. But remember, if you eat regular meat raw, it will make you sick. You will lose health. But if you need to do it in an emergency, just like an ARC, you can do that. And I've done it before if I have a high health, and I'm just now, and I'm just beginning to need protein, and I don't have a fire, and I don't want to waste time on a fire, I will go and I will eat raw meat. But be, be aware, it will hurt you. And this, there's a lot in this game that will kill you, so you got to be careful. Okay, guys. Well, the very first thing you got to worry about when you're when you're when you're trying to get your tools is you have to punch a tree. And when you're punching a tree, guys, when you're punching a tree for your tools, getting six wood is very difficult. You are doing damage to yourself. This is not like Ark where you get the wood right away. All right. Now, see, I, I'm getting. I have my gather up. So I'm gathering more wood or more thatch in one punch than I normally would. Because when you're gathering by hand, and you have those perks that I showed you earlier, 
You gather more materials by hand. There we go. Hang on. I don't... I, how many do I have? I have two pieces. Under my skill tree, to make a pick, I need six pieces of wood. Now, right now, my health is at 78 out of 115. It's not going to be easy for me to get this pick. You might end up almost killing yourself, or you might end up killing yourself. And this is at the point where people like to come up to you, and they try to um, they try to attack you. There, I got six wood now, and they and they try to take whatever you've gathered. So it's super important that you make your pick right off the bat. So this damage that's being done to you is before you get a lot of materials on you. Okay, I only have, and if you can craft anything, it'll show up here. It doesn't automatically show up, but it, when you can craft something with the things that are in your inventory, it will show up. That's why you have to go over to skills and see, all right, well, what do I need for my pick now? I need a stone. I need one more stone. So I'm going to go over and get my stone, which you can punch a rock. You can punch rocks and get, you can't just, you don't, not only trees, but you can punch rocks if you have enough health. To get what you need, there's my la there's my stone. I needed the last one. If you don't want to go r running around and looking for something, and now I can make my pick. That pick is the most important tool uh, you will ever have in this game, because from this pick comes everything. Now I already had that equipped because I've already died. I killed myself so I could do this tutorial, but I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna takes a second for the pick to come out, and then just start gathering up. Once you've got the perks that I showed you, you're going to be able to make all the rest of your tools, and you're going to be able to make spears. We're going hunting next. All right, guys. Well, I'd like to have, when I go out hunting, I'd like to have at least seven or eight spears, because these things break really easy. And the pigs aren't really that difficult to kill. All this, a lot of the early animals are really easy to kill. I think these guys got stuck in the water. Are they stuck in the water? Yes, they are. All right, that's cool. Um, they shouldn't be. I don't think they're going to be able to get out. Oh, wait. There's one. Yeah, come on. That's right, boy. Come on, you want some? Bring it. Bring it. Uh-oh, he's not taking damage for some reason. I sure am, though. Oh, that was an alpha pig I was trying to attack, guys. By the way, there are alphas in the game, and it killed me. There are alphas in the game... And they are very difficult to kill. But if you can kill an alpha, then it is an extreme amount of XP, just like an arc. So if you can kill an alpha animal, if you feel confident enough, and it's a small enough animal, I would suggest to go for it. And especially if you get people like helping you out. Because alpha animals give an extreme amount of experience points early game. So if you can take one on... If it's a lower level alpha, and I'm saying, you know, in the low hundreds or whatever, and you think you can do it, do it. See, there's an alpha monkey right here. The 183. I might try to, but he's going to throw poop at me. See, he's throwing poop at me. They're aggressive as hell. They are really aggressive. So even if a, a member of the species is not aggressive, the alphas probably are going to be aggressive toward you. So be aware, you can get yourself hurt or killed if you get too close to an alpha. But they are really good experience. So I, I would highly suggest trying it if you feel like you can. Now normally when you die, there is a, a big blue spire of light showing where you've died. But it doesn't look like, it looks like that my body may have despawned. I don't know why it despawned so quickly. They're adjusting things on, on the in the game right now, guys. So be aware that uh, if... You lose your things, it might... Don't be surprised. All right, guys, and also, if you ever want to know what is inside of anything else, like inside of a rock or inside of a tree, what you're going to get out of it, or what you might get out of it, go ahead and press. Go, look at it, press H. Look at that. I'm going to get stone, flint, and metal out of this rock, maybe. I'm definitely going to get stone. I'm probably going to get flint. I might get metal. There's no guarantee on the amount you're going to get, but that's what's going to be inside of the item. Okay, guys, now once you've reached level 8, this is what you're going to see. I don't care where you're at. If you're at, in a free port or if you're out in the wild, you're going to see at the bottom of your screen here, you have reached the maximum level for a free port. You must explore new regions to continue to advance, which means you are not making any more experience points until you go to the region specified on your map. I'm going to go to my map. 
and then I'm going to zoom out. And you can use the uh, number keys on your number pad. Uh, I mean, so you can use the plus and minus on your number pad to go in or out. So you find the, the place that it tells you to go to. Now, it's showing, I don't know if you can see that. It's showing there's a place. See that pirate? See that pirate skull right there to the west of us? That's where we need to be. That's the location we need to go to. So we need to be go be going west when we get out of here. So what I'm going to do is that now it's time to go ahead and buy a boat. But only if you're ready. You need to have a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables. You need to have a lot of meat. And I, I, you can probably get away with not having so many fish, considering that you, you're going to be able to, you're going to be on the ocean and you can probably go fishing. But I would suggest having a stockpile. Now at this point, I like to go and I like to unlock the construction and mercantilism. Because at that point, you unlock this one here. And that's going to give... I have I actually have four points available to me right now. But you can respec if you need to. I'm going to make... I'm going to get Handyman. It's going to be a storage box. So I can go ahead and I can, I can put things in and get ready to go. Because all that takes is fibers, thatch, and wood to make the storage box. All right, guys. When you're ready to buy a boat, go ahead and go up to the, the dock and go up to the shipyardsman. And even if there's one in the way, it won't really matter because they will put it off to the side. Access to shop. It's going to cost... 75 fibers, 20 hide, and 80 wood. All righty, guys. Well, the U-boat's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and go around the corner here, and I'm going to get all my supplies and get, get ready to take my first sail here on the server. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I hope this is helpful to you. If it was, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching Atlas, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.